All right, all right. <laughs> Happy Sunday morning, Moreland Macro Munchers. So I'm on my way to the gym right now because this is peak week and I have to do legs today because my workout schedule gets totally flip-flopped around for peak week um, this week. So the 2017 Google Doc Sheet debacle, I believe, is coming to an end. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, so I'm going to give you a real quick snapshot of what went down. So, I've been needing to transfer over to a business account. Fine. I called Google. They let me know that I could copy all of your guys' spreadsheets and just share it with my Google account. Well, when I did that, every time that I responded to your guys' emails on Thursday, it was forwarding an email to my Gmail account, which was then forwarding it to my .com account, and I could not shut that off because it was looking at me as a new person commenting on your spreadsheets. So there was no way to shut that feature off. So I was getting, every time I emailed somebody, I was getting two emails in two different inboxes saying the same thing that I just said in your spreadsheet. There was no way to shut that off. So they said what I needed to do was download all of my Google Drive from Gmail, upload it to my .com, and then reshare the link. Well, they left out a really important note, like, hey, you have to open every single document, download it in Sheets for it to provide you a new link so that you can then turn around and share that link with your clients. Ha! Huh. Well, that would have been nice to know the first time around that I did it. So, now I've done that and I realize that a lot of you have downloaded, especially in your app, like three or four different copies of your spreadsheet. Well, that can be confusing, right? Which one belongs to where? So this morning I woke up before my gym workout and I put an asterisk next to everybody. So it'll say asterisk, like the little star thing symbol. And then it says Austin Moreland underscore data. That is the proper spreadsheet. So if your spreadsheet does not have an asterisk, then your name, then an underscore, then data, it's not the right spreadsheet. Now here's the other thing. You have to open your link the first time from a desktop. Otherwise, it might not show up in your app. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. But if you open that use this one for reals link, from a desktop, it'll populate in your sheets. Now, if it's not showing up in your sheets still, you need to um, double tap your home screen and shut down that app and then reopen it. Just because it memorizes things and so sometimes you have to tell it to reboot itself. So, with all of that being said, um, <clears throat> anytime we face adversity, there are lessons to be learned right? Anytime that we go through a struggle or something is frustrating or you're overwhelmed or it sucks and you're irritated and you want to punch Google in the throat, there are so many lessons to be learned. I just learned so much about my platform and my Google Drive and my resolve as a leader. And um, so as frustrated and irritated as I want to be, I'm fixing it. And good leaders, in my opinion, do that. I went to church yesterday with Kelly Michelle, which was such an awesome treat um, to go to church with her. And, you know, Independence Day is this Tuesday. And we talked about our forefathers, our founding fathers, and what they founded this nation on and the rock that they founded this nation on. And one of the biggest messages that I got from church yesterday is that what made our founding fathers so powerful and so incredible and tremendous leaders through such a growing phase of life was their resolve, right? They didn't get mad and blame other people. They didn't throw their hands up in the air and say, I quit. I'm going to not do it like this anymore because it doesn't work. What they did was they dug their heels in. They put their big boy, big girl pants on and they said, all right. Let's figure out a way, let's make it happen, let's make it work. So, I realized that 
this experience for you guys from Thursday to today has probably been a little bit frustrating. You can't get your spreadsheet updated or maybe you updated it like Caitlin did for two days and now you have to redo the two days. And I am extremely apologetic for that. I'm sorry to make you do extra work or to frustrate you, but we're just iron sharpening iron, my friend. <laughs> um, we're developing grit and character and resolve and all of those things as frustrating and annoying as they are, those are good things to have. And in order to be successful, in order to feel confident, and in order to lead a life with meaning, those are things we want to have in our pocket um, and in our bag of tricks, right? So let's be gritty this week, which is funny because I'm having grits <laughs> instead of oats in my um, pre-workout today. So this week, I want us to be gritty. I want us to have resolve. I want us to rally around each other, lift each other up, encourage each other, even when, and I'm not just talking about me, I'm talking about your family, your friends, the people around you, and um, inspire them to be better and show them what true resolve looks like. So with that being said, if you have any issue whatsoever with your Google Doc sheet, email me. We will figure it out together. Um, so the Google Doc sheet that you should be opening should say, use this one for reels. <laughs> and then um, it should say, open in sheets. If it says that, open in sheets, then open it, click on it, and you should be there. And your name at the top should have an asterisk, your name underscore data. Okay? Whew! We made it. Have an awesome Sunday. I will chat with you all soon. Bye.